Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna show you how I made my own creamy, dreamy, delicious soy milk, and then how I use that soy milk to make this really special lamyeon dish. I'm using these bowls that my grandma brought all the way over from Korea. This is gonna be a story time video where I talk about what's on my mind instead of just rattling off the ingredients and steps, but don't worry, you can find links to the full recipes in the description below, and you'll also find the ingredients and the subtitles in the video. So let's get started. Now, as I mentioned, these are the bowls that my grandmother brought over from Korea. She was so paranoid that they would get damaged on the plane ride that she actually carried a whole bunch of them in her lap the whole way over. That's like an 11 hour plane ride. And I think they're so beautiful. I'm so excited to use them in today's video. Now, I thought for today's video, I'd tackle a question that I often get. Is veganism good for my health? And more specifically, can being vegan help you lose weight? And I'll be honest, when I first decided to go vegan, all of these things that I'd read about losing weight on a vegan diet definitely played a role in my decision to at least, well, try it out, see what happens. Now, as I have shared in the past, I've had a very long and fraught relationship with food and eating and body image. And I'll save you the suspense. Those things didn't simply disappear when I went vegan. In fact, there was definitely a concern expressed by my therapist that going vegan would actually exacerbate some of the habits that I developed over a lifetime of what is, uh, at the very least, a dysfunctional relationship with food. And to answer the first question, can you lose weight on a vegan diet? Well, you can lose weight on any diet. You can lose weight on the just eat potatoes diet. You could lose weight on the omnivore diet. You can lose weight on the low carb diet. And you can absolutely lose weight on a vegan diet. But the notion that the vegan diet is somehow, you know, the elixir to any obesity problems is simply false. For the most part, with very limited exception, the body really doesn't care what kind of calories are coming in and how those calories go out. The way to lose weight is to make sure that the calories that are going out exceed the calories that are coming in. French fries, vegan mayonnaise, vegan ice cream, those things are all vegan and made out of plants. And those things are not going to help you lose weight still about calories in versus calories out. But there are all sorts of side effects to what appears to be such a simple caloric transaction. And what I've struggled with my whole life is sort of becoming obsessed with that equation. And somewhere along the way, after years and years of being told that the way that I look translates into worth. And then subsequently learning that that caloric equation is directly responsible for the way that I look. Well, you do the math. How many calories I ate in a day and how many calories I burned in a day translated directly into a measure of my worth. So when I think about the quote, best diet, I think about two things. Number one, is it something that I can sustain over the long haul? Because probably like many of you, I've lost weight many, many, many times only to regain it and then some many, 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 many more times. And the second question is, what sort of impact is this quote diet gonna have on my mental health? Now, right before I went vegan, I was a paleo girl. So I was very much into low carbing it. I avoided basically any kind of starch, even potatoes, and didn't eat bread, pasta, or even my beloved rice. And I would do that actually six days out of the week. And then on the seventh day would be my quote cheat day and I would basically fill the day with sugary drinks, french fries, cake, 
hot dogs, whatever I wanted to eat. I had grown completely obsessed with my weight. I remember very vividly squatting over a scale for the 17th time that day and just sobbing, sobbing, because it hadn't moved in the last hour. That was definitely rock bottom for me, and it was also when I started seeing a therapist for my relationship with food. So when I went vegan in 2016, my therapist was incredibly concerned. She viewed it as another vehicle for me to restrict while claiming it was because of my veganism or my ethics or for health or for the animals. And I don't blame her for thinking that. I do think there are a lot of people who use veganism as sort of a pretext for continuing their destructive eating habits. Now, I'm not going to lie and say, oh, I was magically cured of all of the things that were plaguing me before I went vegan. I probably will struggle with my relationship with food and the body I see in the mirror probably for the rest of my life. But going back to those two questions on whether or not the vegan diet is the best diet, is it sustainable and how does it affect my mental health? The most important change that veganism brought into my life, at least from a dietary perspective, is that for once, what I ate wasn't just a caloric equation. With every bite of food, I was choosing to do something for the animals. I was choosing to do something for the planet. And in many cases, I was choosing to do something for my body. And by my body, I mean not just my physical body, I also mean my soul. In other words, it was the first time I'd ever experienced eating with intention. With every plate of food came an opportunity to act in compassion towards the animals, towards the planet, but most importantly, towards myself. And perhaps in this great twist of irony, the food I was eating actually did reflect, at least in some small part, a measure of my worth because they were a product of my choices. Anyways, guys, I know this is a little bit intense, but I did want to cover the question of, well, is going vegan going to help me lose weight? This is obviously my own personal take on that question. If you enjoyed this story, please don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future Korean vegan videos. Have a lovely day.